how it turned out, guys. I kind of like it. I actually like the color. I'm impressed how this turned out. This is so amazing. I did not know they had this in here. I'm Haitian, yeah, I'm impatient, yeah If I want it, I go and get it, yeah, with no hesitation, yeah Never on time for the party, I'm always on time for the paper, yeah Told you I'd be- So y'all, we are going to try out this wig that I purchased not too long ago from the same hair company that I always purchase it from So... I am not going to put the hair company information up here because this is not a sponsored video. Um, ciao. Anyway, so. I really want to get paid for my work. So. <laughs> but it's one of those wigs that have a bang in the front. This is how it turned out, guys. I kind of like it. I actually like the color. I'm impressed how this turned out. It's not the best. I didn't part the middle because it's a bang wig. So it doesn't have like a lace front or whatever on top, but I should like create this, but I just added this, um, what is it called? Got to be twisted, the curl reviver cream. And it really did its thing. Like it didn't do to the extreme probably because I didn't put that much, but it did bring it to its curly texture. So and it's not hard it's like a cream so it goes in as a cream you know but it's pretty cool i like it i did not get to keep saying i'm gonna shave my sideburns i didn't get to it yet but i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like and the wig is not tight at all because i adjusted the band from the back of it so it looks good i like it we just got to figure out what we're going to do with the top hair but other than that, I like, I like, like, like it. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you guys can hear me. So what we're going to do now is open up that laptop and see what jobs um, is posted on my email so I can post it on my blog. Guys, I've so excited about my blog and i hope that you guys been checking it out as well i it takes a lot of time sometimes i've got be on there for hours probably like up to two hours at a time making sure that i post all the jobs that's emailed to me on my blog like it's it's rewarding at the same time because you guys already know i love to share what i do know and um, put you guys up on game, but you guys have to be there to support me as well. So just make sure that you pull up my blog, which is gonna be down here somewhere on the screen where you can check out the jobs. And if you are looking for work, make sure that you post more, make sure that you um, send your resumes out to more than one jobs. I don't know how you guys are okay with just sending a resume to one company and expect that company to hit you up. I mean, they're going to hit you up, but you can't be upset if they don't hit you up with congratulations. We want to move you on. You know what I'm saying? You have to make sure that you are posting your resumes out to more than one company. And there's a lot of good paying ones here too. So we're just going to hang out and chill while I go ahead and post them on my blog. And yeah, and Randstad has um, been hitting me up a, a lot about remote jobs, but a lot of them are catering to um, Atlanta, Georgia area. So if you live in Atlanta, Georgia, go ahead and hit up Randstad and they are they are remote jobs, but they do require that you work within that location. So that's another good one. And they're paying really good too. Like I think the last one I've seen was like $24 an hour to be a, um, a new, a patient, um, associate rep. 
when you're just scheduling patients, which is super easy, guys. Do not ever be afraid knowing that you don't have any um, experience in these. Hope you guys are checking out my blog. It's extremely helpful and I've been posting a lot of jobs on there and um, jobs that's currently hiring right away. So if you click on the link and it doesn't work for you, that means that that position is no longer available. They probably filled that position already, but never worry. Always check my blog because just know that I'm always working. I'm always posting it, posting new things on my blog, even though I don't update you guys about the new jobs that is being um, available. But as long as you post, I mean, as long as you check my blog every other day, just know that you're going to get the most recent updated job posts, okay? And if you've been rocking on my channel, you know that these jobs are legit. I put you up on game on the scams that's been going on with these jobs. I don't post jobs that are scamming jobs, okay? And you're probably saying like, how do you know that they're not scamming jobs? There's so many ways that you can figure out if they're scamming jobs or not. You can always, everything you can pull up is on Google, right? You can pull up these companies to see if they're real or not. Pull them up on glassdoor.com. Um, there are so many ways that you can figure out there's a lot of scams going on. And I've showed you guys what the scam emails look like when you receive the scamming job email. So like I told you, your girl got you, okay? As long as you stick with me and on this channel. And don't forget to like my videos and subscribe. A lot of you guys are watching but not liking or subscribing. It means a lot to me when you do that. And doing those two things is free. I'm not asking you for money. And guys, if there's any uh, duplicate channels of me asking for money, just know that it's not me. Okay? That it's not. So, yeah. As I can see here, they are showing a company by the name of New American Funding. So, they are looking for a remote full-time customer service care representative. All right, they are paying twenty two dollars and twenty four uh twenty two dollars to twenty four dollars an hour plus quarterly performance bonuses plus uh overtime. They are providing full time benefits including health, dental, and four hundred one k paid holiday, paid sick, paid vacation. So you must work um, central time for this company. All right. And this company does not allow you to select your own schedule, but they pay really good, okay? This job will be posted on my blog, so yeah, so you should be able to see it on there. It's posted on there now, as a matter of fact. Here's another one. It's called Morty, okay? So um, they're hiring for a remote loan processing associate. And basically, if you're familiar with loan um, processing, then you know what it consists of. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically you managing workflows in their uh, lender portals, including locking and disclosing files, manage homeowners insurance, title and appraisal workflows, review client documents and determine if files are ready for submission, proactively flag and resolve any potential problems, and they are paying $22 an hour, depending on a candidate experience and location. And they are asking for a minimum of two experience, and, excuse me, two years, I said two experience, two years of experience in the mortgage industry. So guys, if you don't have any, any experience at all in the mortgage industry, do not, I repeat, do not waste your time. But if you do, Go ahead and shoot your shot, guys. This is a good opportunity for you, okay? All right, so the next one is, this is also on my blog as well, so check it out. And there's a lot of international jobs available as well, like worldwide with no uh, state restrictions as well. And there's a lot of them because I was doing my research. And... Um, and I did not know that these companies were worldwide too. Like Apple, Apple is hiring y'all and they're hiring worldwide, okay? And that's also on my blog as well. And Teletech is also hiring and they are worldwide. 
that's also on my blog and um it would be under international just in case if you were wondering so if you don't want to live in the U u.s anymore and you want to travel or go and live in a different country you can look into these companies they are hiring all right guys so we have house call pros they are looking for remote full-time specialist retention so basically what your role would be is um you're uh basically out your outreach via outbound and inbound calls emails texts asking open-ended questions to identify root cause and offer solutions often requires multiple touch points maintain positive working relationships with pros to ensure continued business relationship for the company as a whole collaborate with other departments by sharing data insights to help make improvements to product service upstream in the conquer product journey and they are asking that you have at least two years experience in sales or retention role, have a bachelor's degree. Okay. And um, let's see. Experience with the CRM system software is a plus. And yeah, guys. So if you're interested, this one is also on my blog so yeah so let me know comment down in the description box down below and let me know what you think about my blog is it cute or not what is it that i need to do in order to make it interesting because this is still kind of new to me it's exciting knowing that I have my own blog. Like, what was I thinking? How come I didn't do this sooner? Like I told y'all before, I did have a blog before. But for some apparent reason, I just let it go. Like, I wasn't interested in it anymore. It was just something that I didn't care for anymore. But, yeah. So, hopefully this was um, helpful. And I just want you guys to win. I always want you guys to work, work, work. Work your ass off because anything that you work hard on, you will see it at the end. It will show. It will show and it will just be so rewarding by the end of the day that, dang, I really worked hard on something and then this is what I got back in return. That is a blessing. I don't know for you, but for me, when I work hard for something and it comes back in full force for me in a positive way, I feel great about it. I feel so good about it. But yeah, guys, let me get back to work. I, there's more jobs that I really want to post on here for you guys so you guys can take advantage of. And don't forget to check out my blog. Everything will be on there for you. So you can go ahead and take advantage of these uh, great paying jobs as well. I don't know if you know this, but these jobs are hiring and they're paying very, very well. I know a lot of them, like living in the United States, it's like really hard to like, because these jobs are paying well, it still doesn't add up when it comes to your bills. But that's why we have options, guys. That's why we have options to where we can do side hustles on the side after working our nine to fives, okay? So don't ever settle, just continue working. Cause if that one job doesn't want you, trust me, the other one will, okay? It's always like that. That's the life that we live and that's what it's gonna always be. You hear what I'm saying? But it's all up to you to deliver. It's all up to you to put your, your hard work in. That's all it needs for you to be punctual and for you to just believe in yourself to know that hey, I can do this, you know, because you can, it's simple. Like, I feel like if I can do something, you can too. That's what I tell everybody because I'm just like, yo, like, I don't believe in myself as much as, as much as I s pretend to believe in myself because it's just inspiring knowing that when you guys comment saying that I inspire you guys, I'm like, me? inspire you that's good to know because i didn't think that was even possible you know i'm just doing what i think is right and just sharing 
Like I've always was raised that way. Like if I know something, share it. So, cause my mom was that type of person, you know, she was extremely helpful. And that's the part, that's one thing that I know that I got from my mom, you know. But yeah, guys, so let me go ahead and work on this and and what's walk later. I am loving this look. Oh yeah. Like my mood is different now. Like earlier today, I was just feeling down because I just felt like, dang, I don't look good. This this is crazy. But now I'm just feeling so good about it. I will fix the bang on a later date. <laughs> right now, I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood, but this is cute. I just love the color. Oh, my God. I like the highlights that they added in there, too. It's just so cool. And I love big hair, guys. I love it. I just put enough. Uh... <laughs> Watch out now. I'm being so silly. So, guys, I just got through um, putting on, well, I didn't put a whole bunch of makeup. What I did was I just put on that, um, what is it called? True Blend, the uh, powder, all over my face. Well, not all over, just like around my eye area, like up here and down. And then I added the lashes that I brought from the TikTok store um the other day when i showed you what i purchased from tiktok and they're looking good they're like the cat eye um type of lashes and they look good so it's short right here starting from the um beginning of the eye and the middle right here and then at the end it's long so it's cute it's really nice and it was easy to apply like it wasn't hard at all i'm so proud of myself for someone that haven't wore lashes in so long i'm doing good so yeah i kind of like it because it kind of like defined my eye a little bit like it's giving me that cat eye look that i've always wanted i don't know if you watch my birthday vlog when i went to the nail parlor to get my um, lashes done and I told a lady I wanted the cat eye form but when you tell an Asian person what you want they're like yeah 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 and they give you what they want you know and what they can do <laughs> so this is what I always wanted and I got it and it's cute I like this side the way it's looking because I'm left-handed guys so I do better on my left side but when I get to my right side it get it is what it is you know what I'm saying like if it doesn't turn out the way I expect it, it's because, you know, I use everything with my right hand. So, yeah, it's growing on me. And my hair is kind of growing on me so far. I'm still finding stuff that bothers me about it a little bit. But it's all good. It's all good. It's staying on my head. I don't care. I'm not trying to do anything extra because i ain't going nowhere you know what i'm saying so i got the ac on but it feels like it's not working because it's so hot outside um yeah so that's basically what i was doing This ain't no cooking video, but so what? I just want to share. If you guys don't know what kale looks like cooked, this is what it looks like. It gets really soft and it actually creates more broth for your soup. I did not add any water in here. Wow. But yeah, this is what it looks like and it smells hella good, y'all. Really good, especially with the seasonings that I add. I basically add the usual, the um, bell peppers, garlic, I actually cut the garlics up in small pieces. Um, 
two different type of onions. I cut up the white onions and the purple onions, put it in there. Now, um, once this is completed, I will add the um, green onions and I will be adding this in there, the Hardy Home, Home Style Egg Noodles, just so it won't be so plain. And yeah, and I will be adding the potatoes as well. I don't know, I just like soup, y'all. This is so healthy for you, it's so good. Let me just add this little bit in there. Um, I'll be adding the, I should add the potatoes now. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cause I know the potatoes are gonna cook really fast and it doesn't require a lot of cooking at all. Add some as well. And if I need to add more broth, I will. Let's see what it tastes like. Let's see if I need to add more salt or more seasoning. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. The carrot gives it that sweet taste. Oh, this is good. The kids will enjoy this for sure. My son, he's a picky one. My daughter should eat anything, especially when she's hungry. But yeah, we'll see what it looks like when it's done. When I got through eating the soup, the soup is so good, guys. I did not realize how good kale is when you cook it because it really tastes disgusting when you eat it as a salad. I, I just can't deal with that. But when you cook it and put it in your soup, it's so good. And I didn't realize how much water it creates. And it creates that broth for your soup. Just like how tomatoes do it. Like when you put it, when you're cooking tomatoes, it creates that, that sauce that you're looking for. Get with it, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Plus, it's healthy. Eating soup is so healthy. Like, if my kids weren't um, so picky, I think I would eat soup every flipping day, y'all. Like, <sighs> kid you not, I would. But, you know, I just got to do different things for the kids. So, it is what it is. I'm just sitting here. It's like 2 o'clock. I got through posting the jobs on my blog. So, check them out, guys. Um, they're really good paying jobs as well. And, um... It's, yeah, like I said, it's 2 o'clock, so I'll just be waiting here um, to go and pick up the kids in a few, and I have nothing more to do besides that, so. I really like the color of this hair. Like, I feel like the honey blonde color just brightened me up a little more. You know what I'm saying? It gives me that look that exotic look that I've always been looking for when I buy like wigs. <laughs> I kind of feel like it's crooked a little bit. Hmm. All right guys, as you can see, we are outside. Me being outside, being in the light, because, you know, the lighting in my house sucks. So the lighting in my house had me questioning this wig on my head, like the color itself. And I love the color, guys. I'm in love. I'm in love. I just feel like I need to highlight it. I mean, not highlight it, but layer it a little bit. I guess... Um, curly wigs aren't supposed to be perfect. They're supposed to be. Um, the way they are. Messy and, I don't know, like this. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I like it. I'm trying to look at the, um, camera while I'm talking to y'all at the same time. But I, now I'm at a red light. I, I can actually see what it looks like. And it looks good. It looks good. I look good. I don't know why I feel so insecure. Like, I'm... I can easily get insecure really fast. 
and I don't know why. And like the other people, like they could wear anything and feel good in it. Me, I wear something and I feel like, oh God, I'm too fat. Oh hell no, oh no. Like I see everything wrong with it. Let's see what the kids have to say. So let me make a quick phone call. Day two. Hey guys, so I'm finally done with my hair. So it started off really rocky, okay, between me and the stylist. And it's my fault. I should have updated her about me changing my options when it comes to my hair. But the way she went about it was very unprofessional and I did not like it. And when she was doing my hair throughout the whole time, she she only asked me we only spoke like twice and that was it and throughout the whole time she was doing my sewing it was quiet so it was a bit awkward at the moment because we're both quiet but then again i heard her i guess her um on her bluetooth she was listening to a podcast or whatever to just avoid the quietness which is cool because i wasn't going to say nothing to her you know, shit happens, it's not my fault. And then she finished on time at that. You get what I'm saying? So anyways, let me explain to y'all what happened. And it's my fault, like I said. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong and I acknowledge my wrongs. So um, while scheduling the appointment at first, the initial um, appointment that I scheduled was for um, the glueless wig. That's what I wanted before. And then I realized, I'm like, why am I scheduling for a glueless wig when I got the, let me go this way. When I got the, uh, the bundles, I should do the bundles instead. So I was like, you know what, when I get there, I'll just let her know that we're just doing the sewing instead. Not thinking that, you know, hey girl, you should let this lady know just in case of anything. Not thinking of her other customers. You know, you know what I'm saying? So then I told her, I said, hey, you know, um, change of plan. She said, what you mean? So you're not doing the glueless um, wig? I said, no, I'm doing the um, bundles instead. She was like, hold up. The homegirl was about to send me home. She was about to send me home and not do my mother loving hair. So I was so ready for her to be like, uh -uh, I can't do it. We're going to have to reschedule. I was so quick for her to... Um, I was so ready for her to tell me that so I could go off on her. But I'm like, why am I going off on her when I'm wrong? But the attitude that I was in at the moment, cause I waited so long to do my hair and for you to send me home. But then again, she's like, oh, let me see. Let me see, is it a closure or is it a lace? I said, I guess it's a lace. So I showed her what it looked like. And she was like, oh, it's a lace. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to reach out to my appointment um, that starts at 12 and let him know. And, God, she finished on time. She finished on 12 on the dot. And her and her um, customers still ain't show up. Okay, so anyways. So then she started the bleaching the, um, the lace and everything. Whatever she needed to do or whatever. And the whole time she doing my hair. So she's like parting my hair. So she could braid it. And she's like, oh, did you, um, did you relax your hair? I was like, no, I put the Brazilian treatment. She's like, oh, because your ends are straight, but your roots aren't. I said, well, it's been since over six months that I uh, put this in, so I need a redo. She was like, oh, okay. And she was like, so you, do you have any plans for this week? And I said, nothing. I'm just doing it. And she was like, oh, okay. And that was the end of our conversation. And I know she felt the um, my tone like it wasn't positive. Because you don't... And then... The whole time she was saying, oh no, you need to do this, you need to do that, uh-uh, we might have to reschedule. In front of this other stylist, 
and she thought it was funny. That's what kind of pissed me off even more. Because first of all, I'm embarrassed and you try to put me out there in front of one of your stylist friends and make it seem like you the shit. Because by the end of the day, like I said, if she would have told me to go home, I would have went off on her. And guys, that's the main reason why I don't like to go to other people to do my hair because of shit like that. If I knew how to do my hair, man, I wouldn't be dealing with people attitude and stuff like that. Oh shit. I wouldn't be dealing with people, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't like it. And I feel like I'm gonna find me another stylist in the meantime. And she doesn't even do my hair good. Like, what a stylist in Miami will deliver would never look like this. This looked like something I could have done on my own. It's ugly, it's so ugly. She took the curls out on top of my head and I don't like it. So hopefully I can revive it when I get home myself and do it the way I want it done. But other than that, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't. But I just wanted to tell y'all what my experience is because she's just, her attitude stinks. So I guess that's just who she is, right? So the other stylist, when she um, said what she had to say in front of the stylist, right? She finally left because she had a nail appointment. So the stylist comes back to show off her nails or whatever. So the stylist is giving her her feedback or whatever on how she feels about everything. And like I told you, the one that's doing my hair, she's like, well, you shouldn't do like this. You shouldn't do it like that. No, it don't look good like that. Like, no, I'm like, damn, bitch, do you have anything nice to say? Like, she is so negative. Like, are, she probably ain't getting no dick. That's probably what it is. I should have given me some Jimmy Johns. She is not getting no dick at all. Because she is just, like, so negative. And I need gas. And I need to call the, um, the guy... The job that I told you I start on Monday, right? Um, there's a survey that they asked that would interrupt me from being a hundred percent, having a hundred percent attendance with them. And I informed them that the only thing that would ruin it is me going to go pick up my kids. Um, me going to go pick up my kids um, from school. So I guess they didn't like that. So now they're calling me. They called me twice and he left me a text message saying that to call him back because that would actually ruin everything for me if if I don't call them back. I guess they want to know the actual time that I'll be out. Dressed like a butch <laughs> today. Like, oh, don't come for me. Don't come for me. Cause just cause you ain't having a good day, don't come for me. Okay. And I gave her a stupid ass ten dollar tip on top of that. My dumb ass. It's cause I was raised to tip. Cause if I wasn't raised to tip, she wouldn't even get a fucking dollar for a tip. There goes Jimmy Johns. And it's saying that I cannot bust a you. Fuck. One thing about Fort Myers, bro, you can't do shortcuts nowhere. No, there's no shortcuts. Go, go. Go. There's no shortcuts options for you. You have to like, ugh, it's so annoying. That's so annoying. But anyway. I'm going to hit you up later. So 
yeah, I'm gonna fix these curls um, with the uh, Got To Be. It's an air dry curl firm foam, excuse me, and it says it's a flexible hold and anti-freeze, no residue, nor stickiness. And then I will also use this Cantu Butter Leave-In Daily Oil Moisturizer. I don't know if I should put this one first or this one. I don't know. Let me see what happens, what it looks like when I put this on. And I just thought that she was about to do it because she, the way she parted it, I was like, oh no, this hoe is about to add on baby hair and not even ask me if I wanted it. So I just told her, I said, are you adding baby hair? She's like, yeah, did you not want? I said, no. Oh, she's like, oh, okay. Like, were you going to ask me if I wanted baby hair? Like, I know you ain't fucking with me right now because I didn't even tell you that I was getting a sew in. But goddamn. Yeah, I'm not going back to her, guys. I didn't like the way she made me feel. I felt so awkward and embarrassed. And that's not how you treat your customers. Everybody's human. We all make mistakes. And that was my first time ever doing that to her. And guess what? It's going to be my last. <laughs> I wish her well. But she just ain't going to ever see this beautiful face again. And I'm never recommending her. I'm never um, recommending anyone to her. So whoever my new stylist is going to be is who I would recommend. You know what I'm saying? So that means I need to get on Instagram tonight and look up some styluses on there. But this looks so much better. I don't know if I should go ahead and put in that Cantu leave-in. Or just leave it the way it is right now. This part looks wet, like I put way too much mousse on it. But this is what I wanted. This is the look I wanted. And she couldn't even achieve that. I guess because she was rushing for her other appointment. And she was right on time too. It was not like she was late. And her next appointment was going to be at 12. I just can't, I can't leave it alone. It's like bothering me, I'm sorry y'all. Anyways, I'll be back. Guys, I got off the phone with the job I was telling you about like 20 minutes ago. And um, oh my gosh, they are so like understanding. Cause I thought they were gonna say, well, with your situation, I'm sorry, we won't be able to give you this job opportunity because you have to miss training class to go pick up your kids. And that's why communication is the key, guys, because it's not good to assume. You get what I'm saying? Because she was asking me, so what time do you think that you'll be, you know, out of class for when it's time for you to go pick up your kids? So I told her, you know, probably like 10 minutes late to go pick them up and then 20 minutes to get to, um, to well, 10 minutes to leave my house and be at the school and then 20 minutes to pick them up and come back home. So she said that's a total of 30 or basically 40 minutes because you're gonna need a couple of more time to settle down with the kids. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so she's like, okay, so basically what you can do is at this point is let me know when you're about to um, leave. And I'm like in my head, that's it? Oh my gosh, she said, so just send me an email, shoot me an email and say, heads up, I'm leaving at so-and-so time. I'm like, oh my gosh, bless your heart. Cause what I thought you were going to say was the opposite. She's like, no, honey, everybody needs a job. <laughs> and I said, and we surely do. And thank you for understanding. She was like, listen, you're not the only one with issues. So I have to reach out to the rest of these people with um, issues going on. Wow. Yard sale, guys. That's what I was looking at. So I was like, okay. I said, I hope that, you know, I'm the only <laughs> the only one with this issue. She said, I'm sure you're not the only one. I said, but this is only, um, it's temporary because the kids will be out of school um, the end of May. So she was like, oh, okay. That's no problem. And then I said, after that, you won't have to worry about getting emails from me 
every time letting you know because she's like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and try to do since we start at 10 a.m and i'm gonna, gonna try to like give you lunch like around two something i said two will be fine because what i can go ahead and do is go pick up the kids early around that time and um she's like no don't inconvenience anything about their school i said well you know it's either that or i won't be able to do it so she's like okay well do what you think is best i get it i know it's hard being you you're a single mother because that's what i tell every company every company i'm a single mother of two and i gotta do this i gotta do that and once you open up to them and let them know they it seems like they're very understanding at that point because they know that you need a job and honestly i feel like they need people they need people to do this job so like i told you i'm gonna hang on to it until i find something better at least with this um learning and working type job i'm getting paid for it so training is paid the whole process is paid so basically they sent me the steps yesterday so i have an idea what to expect so i think so we do training uh, orientation Monday, so they'll break it down. But from what I read and understood, they say that um, starting off with training, it's going to be nothing but more of self pace right? So it's going to be a lot of reading and writing, taking notes, lecture, all of that, right? Basically like with the RISE, if you're familiar with the RISE, that's basically what you will be um, doing for the first couple of weeks, but will be getting paid for right and then after that they will be sending you their equipment and then they will be sending you to go get your fingerprints done and i think um if i'm not mistaken they said something about something else showing id for something else it's not for um oh god oh god That truck was trying to block the other car, and that car almost hit his hit the truck with his tire. But anyway, thanks for being patient with me, truck on the side of me. <laughs> Anyways, um, like I was saying, I lost my train of thought just seeing that. That scared me, and that wasn't even my car that was about to get hit. So basically, it's a lot of studying, y'all. It's a lot of studying because what I'm going in for is becoming a, I think this truck is doing this shit on purpose. Because what I'm going in for is becoming an insurance agent. So it does require that you're licensed. So hopefully the test is not hard. If you're an insurance um, agent and you have your license, hit your girl up, okay? Check out my description box and send me an email. Jeez, and here's my email somewhere here. Like, hook a sister up if you still got the study guide or something, because I need to know. But anyways, that's what the class is all about anyway. They are going to provide us with all of that, so. I just feel like my brain is fried with school. And then I have to learn again with another job. Like, please, how much learning do I have to do? <laughs> how much studying? <sighs> Let me stop tripping. At least they paying me for it. It ain't for free. I'm at the kids' school right now. I'm standing in line to pick them up. In the meantime, let me call my daddy and check up on him. I'm going to hit y'all up later. This is so amazing. I did not know they had this in here. Okay, I'm good. Wow. This is so scary. Yeah. Hey. Haiti, Cuba, Italy, France. Amazing.
face and her eyes. That's synthetic though. <laughs> you say glue was for liquefied extract? Yeah. Um, you want a straight, curly, wavy wood? Body wax? That'll work too, let me see. How much is this one? Two eighty. Two eighty? Twenty-six inches. Oh, that's fine. Okay. I just say a clueless. It's a glueless fit. Trans. Um, it's a transparent lace wig. Full density. I tried it on guys already, and so far, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. But it's already styled already. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. I got my noodles um, cooling down so I can do it. But yeah, take, take a look at it. Hold on, let me back it up a little bit so you guys can have an idea. So this is the lace, okay? So I guess that's the transparent lace. And this is the inside, so it has a band. So I guess it has like that glueless... Um, feel to it a little bit i don't know if it does or not because the lace was in the way guys but they already layered it it's layered to the point where you have to style it the way it's layered which is like
What is external? All I know is wrong. It's external. Open it with your mouth. 